akisema atatenda jambo gani hilo alokuahidi we si mwanadamu adanganye yesu jina lake akisema atatenda jambo gani hilo aloku ahidi we si mwanadamu aseme uongo yesu jina lake ahadi zake huyu yesu zitatimi Wanadamu adanganye Yesu jina lake ahadi zake huyu Yesu zitatimia milele huyu Yesu si mwanadamu aseme uongo lake akiahidi ni mwaminifu kwa kweli njia zake si kama zetu ni mwaminifu ni mwaminifu Yesu jina lake akiahidi ni mwaminifu kwa kweli njia zake si kama zetu ni mwaminifu ni mwaminifu Yesu jina lake Heavenly Father we come before you Lord we thank you for your love we thank you for your mercies oh God upon our lives dear Father thank you dear Lord for waking us up this morning dear Father We are before you dear Lord and we just want to hear dear Father. I pray that Lord you speak to us dear Father. We open our hearts dear Lord to receive from you in Jesus name I pray. Amen amen amen. Karibuni sana to today's devotions and we are grateful that you have found time to join us. I pray that uh, the Lord will speak to you. I pray that you'll be encouraged this morning. Uh, as a church we have been reflecting on the work of a believer. You as a follower of Christ there's a certain way that you you ought to live your life and today one of the things that i want us to look at is a uh, children the the god god uh god is telling us to obey our parents so turn to me uh, turn with me in the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 we'll read from verse 1 to 3 the word of god says children obey your parents in the lord for this is right honor your father and mother This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. God gave 10 commandments but this is the only commandment that has a has a promise. We are told as children we need to obey our parents because our, our parents are God's rep- representatives here on earth and when God tells us to obey he's telling us to accept their guidance. He's also telling us to accept their discipline because our parents ought to discipline their children because they need to show guidance uh, to to show them a path that they should walk. It also goes further to say honor your father and mother. When you honor someone, you value them. You respect them. You you uphold them in a precious way. So God is telling us to honor our father and mother. But it doesn't stop there. It goes on to say that that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. That is where the promise comes in. So I choose to obey my parents. I choose to honor them and it will go well with me and that I will live long. I will live a fulfilling life. What a beautiful thing that God is giving us. So today I just want to ask you, have you been obeying your parents? 
Have you been honoring them? Have you been respecting them? Have you been uh, doing the little things like calling them, finding out how they are doing, just giving them gifts? And uh, I, I know some of our parents could be ailing and at their old age, are we keen to find out how they are doing or even just going home to visit them? just helping them even in the little things that they need help god is asking us to obey when our parents are speaking to us are we obeying them i know we uh, we are adults and and it feels like these commandments is just for us when we are young but even in our old age even as adults god is still asking us to obey our parents god is still asking us to honor them to value them to accept their guidance to accept their discipline and it says that this is the only this is a commandment with a promise don't we love promises that are fulfilled don't we love seeing that when something has been promised to us it, it it's uh, it's going to be actioned so we know we serve a, a faithful god a god who, who does not only speaks but he actions so when he says that when we obey our parents, when we honor them, it will be well with us and we'll live long, we'll live a fulfilled life. I pray that you will desire that. I pray that you will, you will choose to obey and honor your parents, even at their old age. Or you probably you may not have parents, biological parents who are still alive, but there could be a father figure or a mother figure in your life who is a parent. Honor that parent. Obey them so that it may go well with you. And, uh, and, and these are the things that as a believer, as a follower, of, a follower of Christ, you ought to be doing. So this morning, I just want us to, to remember our parents. I want us to, to pray for them. I want us to, to love on them. And even as we, uh, as we go by our, this day, may we pick our phones and call them, find out if they are close, visit them, find out how they are doing and be a blessing to them. So let's, let's, let's just uh, lift our parents to God. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you, dear Father. We thank you and we love you, dear Lord. Father, God, thank you for reminding us that this morning, Lord, that you have said in your word that we should obey our parents and that we should honor them, dear Father. And God, this is a, a commandment that has a promise, dear Father. We know you are a God who speaks and you, you also action, dear Father. So I pray this morning that, Lord, you may enable us to remember this commandment, dear Father. I pray that we will not get to a point that we feel that we are we are adults and we are not going to action this, dear Father. Father, I pray that, Lord, we shall desire to love our parents, dear Lord. Father, we commit parents into their hands, dear Father. We pray for them. We pray for strength. Any parent, dear Lord, I pray for them, dear Lord. For those who have young children, for those who have teenagers, youth, or oh, Father, or adult children, dear Father, we pray for them, God. We thank you because they are a blessing in our lives, dear Lord. Even for those um, men and women, Lord, who have stood in as parents, dear Father, in our lives. Father, we pray for them. We pray that, Lord, you shall put an edge of protection upon our parents, dear Lord. I pray that, Lord, you shall teach us to remember them, dear Father. You shall teach us to take care of them, dear Lord. You shall teach us to be a blessing to them, dear Father. That, God, there is no time that we shall neg neglect them, dear Father, because, God, you've asked us, dear Father, to remember them, dear Lord. Father, I pray for for healing for upon any parent who is unwell dear lord i pray for total healing in the name of jesus dear father i pray for strength upon the parents dear lord i pray for your wisdom oh god and your grace dear father upon them dear lord i pray that lord you shall walk with them and uphold them lord we we can only imagine lord how how at times, Lord, it is difficult to parent a, a child, dear Father. But God, I pray that you shall remember them, dear Lord. You shall remember them, dear Father. You shall equip them, dear Father. But I also pray for us, Lord, as children, dear Lord, that God, we shall be keen, dear Father. We shall be keen to listen to your word and to follow what it's telling us to do, dear Father. We shall not neglect, dear Father, your word, dear Lord. Oh, Holy Spirit, I pray that you shall remind our, our remind us oh god to 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 take responsibility as children dear father god i pray dear lord that you shall rem remind us dear lord that we have a responsibility to do dear father and god you says that you, you, your word says that 
when we do this, it shall be well with us and that we shall live long, dear Lord. So I pray for, for a long and prosperous life, dear Father, upon your children, dear Lord, even as we choose to obey your commandment, dear Father, even as we choose to obey our, your, your word, dear Father, even as we choose to walk in this path, dear Father, as your followers, dear Lord, I pray that you may remember us, oh God. We thank you, we bless you, dear Lord. We, we honor you, dear Father, because you're a good God and you love us, dear Father. We thank you and we bless your holy name. God, I want to commit this day into the hands, dear Father. May you go with us, oh God. May you go before us. May you order our steps, dear Father. And for anyone, Lord, who has a need, dear Father, God, you say that you you know our needs even before we, we mention them, dear Lord. So I commit every need to you, dear Father. I pray that you shall you shall meet every person, Lord, at their point of need, dear Father. So remember us, oh God. May we find encouragement in you. May we find hope, dear Father, in you. May we find joy, dear Father, in you, dear Father. And for anyone who is unwell, God, we speak your healing, dear Father, upon them, dear Lord. For anyone, Lord, who is trusting you, dear Father, for a breakthrough, dear Lord, financially, I pray that, Lord, you shall open doors in the name of Jesus, Father. We bless you and we exalt your holy name. Thank you, dear Father. Thank you for for just loving us, dear Lord. We honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen, amen. Have a beautiful day in Jesus' name. Amen. Akisema Atatenda Jambo gani hilo Aloku ahidiwe Simwana damu Aseme uongo Jinalake Ahadi zake Huyu Yesu Zitatimia Huyu Yesu Si mwanadamu Adanganye Yesu Jinalake Ahadi zake Mwaminifu Kwa kweli njia zake Sika mazetu Ni mwaminifu Ni mwaminifu Yesu Jina lake Aki ahini Ni mwaminifu Kwa kweli njia zake Sika masetu Ni mwaminifu Ni mwaminifu Yesu Jinalake Ahadi zake Huyu Yesu Zitatimia milele Huyu Yesu Si mwanadamu Danganye Yesu Jina lake Ahadi zake Huyu Yesu Zitatimia milele Huyu Yesu Simwana damu Adanganye